greetings of the day this is the sixth session on time response analysis in this session we will concentrate on p pd pa and pid controllers now let us consider a general closed loop system in which input is given as a input signal is given as a input signal which is also considered as a desired output desired output because the input signal is give, uh, given based on the expected output by keeping in a mind so it is called as a desired output and plant which is expected to give the output and to minimize the error we are sensing the output signal and feeding back to the input and this error signal once again given to the plant so because of this structure of the closed loop system the response of the system becomes like this somewhat initially it is having a transient state and then it reaches the steady state but from the designer point of view the designer is expected to minimize this error this overshoot he wants to minimize or he wants to minimize this rise time or this delay time because based on the requirement plant is expected to give some output with rise time is somewhat less than this rise time suppose it is a 0.1 millisecond and designer is expected to get a rise time with 0.05 millisecond or maximum overshoot is around 15% but designer is expected to control within a 10% so in that case with the earlier system the plant will get only the error signal this is not based on what is the expected changes in the output so to get the difference in a expected signal and the actual signal that is the minimum rise time or minimum peak time uh, peak time or maximum overshoot you need to add a controller so this error signal is fed to the controller and this controller will produce a control signal which is given to the plant and this plant will produce a response which is within a expected response expected signal output signal so in such a case the question arises what are the types of the controller so there are linear controllers as well as the non linear controllers are or many controllers are exist in the control center but in this session we will concentrate on linear controllers and in that particularly proportional controller or it is p controller proportional plus derivative controller or it is pd controller proportional plus integral controller or it is a pi controller proportional integral derivative controller or pid controller so in this session we will concentrate on these four kind of the controllers one by one so first we will concentrate on a proportional controller p controller in this controller controller control signal is proportional to the error signal so output of the controller is proportional to the input that is control signal ea of s is proportional kp linear kp e of s so in this case this control signal is given to the plant g of s and it produces the output c of s so what are the advantages of this kind of proportional controller so first advantage is it reduces increases the maximum overshoot so suppose if you want to increase the maximum overshoot then in that case you can use the proportional controller and also it reduces the steady state error 
in the previous session we concentrated on steady state error to reduce the steady state error we can use the p controller so in this case using a proportional controller maximum overshoot increases and steady state error decreases so if you want to minimize the maximum overshoot as well as steady state error then this is may not help because it increases the overshoot so next proportional plus derivative controller so here <coughs> this controller is a sum of proportional as well as differential derivative part so this control signal is a combination of proportional as well as derivative part in a s domain derivative means s into derivative so here actuator signal uh, control signal e of s is kp linear combination and skd derivative part of the error signal so it is the linear proportional as well as differential part of the error signal so the main advantage of this pd controller is maximum overshoot decreases and delay time increases so by using the pd controller you can minimize the maximum overshoot and delay time increases and about the steady state error it is not affecting the steady state error steady state error remains the same next is a proportional plus integral controller pi controller in this case control signal output of the controller is proportional part of the error signal as well as integral part of the error signal with the proportional coefficient kp and integral coefficient ki so here control signal e of s is equal to kp plus ki by s into e of s so this control signal is fed to the plant and it produces the output so advantages of this pa controller so in this order of the system increases so if the plant has a second order system then entire this including controller the order of the device increases in this case by using the pi controller reduction in steady state error it reduces the error but becomes less stable so it reduces the steady state error but it is less stable so next proportional integral and derivative controller pid controller in this case control signal is a combination of proportional part of the error signal integral part of the error signal as well as derivative part so here ea of s control signal is equal to kp plus skd plus ki by s into e of s where kp is a proportional coefficient kd is derivative coefficient ki is integral coefficient so if you concentrate on advantages of pi controller pid controller this is the combination of proportional as well as integral as well as differential so overall it is a combination of all the three controllers so in this main highlighting point is system becomes more stable so if the system is in unstable state then it becomes a more stable as well as reduction in maximum overshoot so maximum overshoot reduces so in this session we concentrated on controllers proportional proportional in p proportional integral pi proportional derivative pd and pid controllers and in this we have used the word about the stable so stability and our stability of the system we will discuss in the next module so in the next session we will concentrate on numericals on time response analysis thank you